morning dear students today we are going to learn about the functions of bile salts in the former video we have learned about uh, the synthesis of bile acids uh, that is from cholesterol so in this section we will learn about the functions so we all know that the bile bile is important in the digestion of lipids for digesting lipids bile is a must without that uh, that digestion will not take place properly and also this bile can form certain molecular aggregates its name is micelle so we all know we all have learned about such structures in some other topics they are amphipathic structures uh, formed in the form of a spear and by incorporating lipids and proteins uh, in between these structures it can uh, it can facilitate its easy absorption so that is another importance mm, they form some certain aggregates called micelle and uh, this bile salt micelle also is very important to keep cholesterol in a solution uh, in the form of a solution then only uh, whatever excess amount of cholesterol in the uh, cholesterol present in our body can excrete so in that way also bile is very important in addition to all these points bile also stands as certain regulatory molecules in what way it acts as regulatory molecules that's what we are going to see next bile acid it activates certain nuclear receptors receptors that uh, found inside the nucleus it activates certain nuclear receptors example for such receptors are mentioned here farnesoid x receptor pregnan x receptor vitamin d receptor and also it can activate a certain g protein coupled receptors these uh, these receptors are found uh, on the um, cell membrane instead of nuclear membrane and uh, example for such membrane uh, such receptors also mentioned here tgr5 or cell signaling pathway c june like that these are all examples anyway this bile acids can activate these two types of receptors and these receptors are found in which type of uh, cells especially ah they are found in liver and gastrointestinal tract cells clear so bile acid activate these two types of receptors uh, these receptors found especially in liver and gastrointestinal tract cells and as a result uh, as a result of the activation of such type of receptors it will uh, ends up in the activation of certain genes that are encoding certain enzymes or proteins which are involved involved in the regulation of bile acid synthesis glucose synthesis fatty acid synthesis lipoprotein synthesis like that and also the metabolism of these substances its transport and energy metabolism so that is the result and in that way bile acid stands as regulatory molecules once more uh, bile acid activate nuclear receptor cell surface receptor and because of the activation certain genes are get activated and that because of that activation certain proteins or enzymes are forming that are uh, important very important uh, in the synthesis of these uh, substances so in that way bile acid is uh, considered as a regulatory molecule that's another importance then one more important bile acid function as nutrient signaling molecule look to that uh, statement nutrient signaling molecule that means uh, whenever nutrients enter the body it is signaled by this bile acids after uh, a long period of fasting whenever we start whenever we again start to co consume some food that time it signal the presence of nutrient in our body and as a result after that a flux of these molecule these molecules means bile is happening and uh, the from the intestine from the intestine uh, the bile again will reach to the liver for what on reaching the liver reaching the liver uh, the bile again will uh, secrete 
stored in gall bladder and then uh, released and to the intestine and to carry out the digestion or to uh, help in the proper absorption and digestion of lipids because uh, again the food have reached the body. So, in that way it acts as a nutrient signaling molecule whenever food reaches our body after a fasting period. Uh, a flux of the bile acid happens again from the industry. The bile again reach back the liver uh, and start all this process. So, in that way, it acts as nutrient signaling molecules. Um, then, uh, this bile acid controlled signaling pathway. So, many signaling pathway I mentioned to you. Uh, signaling pathway means which all those pathway, I, uh, I, I don't know whether you remember it or not. Uh, uh, that by activating nuclear receptor and G protein coupled receptor, it can activate the G some genes. I already told you in former slide. So, that signaling pathway, uh, that signaling pathway ends up in the synthesis of bile acid, gly um, glycogen, um, uh, lipoprotein, like that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, that regulatory behavior of bile acid is considered as a target uh, are target of some novel drugs for what to treat some common metabolic diseases like uh, obesity type 2 diabetes hyperlipidemia atherosclerosis like that so uh, we know that we have learned that bile access regulatory molecule by blocking bile from activating such type of receptors we can control obesity, type 2 diabetes, hyperlipidemia, atherosclerosis. That's what. If we, if we, if we succeed in developing some novel drugs uh, that can block bile from activating such receptors, we can control, we can regulate the synthesis for the sense of bile, for the sense of glycogen. And which in turn, which in turn, uh, we can uh, regulate, uh, we can prevent the condition like obesity and all the other um, other disease situations. Next, we are going to see another function of bile salt. And before moving to that, we need to understand about this enterohepatic circulation. What is this enterohepatic circulation? Not that uh, uh, term, that name. Uh, as it is mentioned, hepatic, we can understand that it has some relation with the liver. So, let's uh, see, look to this picture. We know that the bile is synthesized inside the liver. After it gets synthesized in the liver, it is secreting and temporarily storing inside the gallbladder. Okay. Then upon demand for uh, helping in the digestion and absorption of the lipid, it is secreted. It is coming to intestine. How much amount is coming to intestine per day? Around 15 to 30 gram per day is reaching to the intestine and uh, in that 15 to 30 gram around 300 milligram per day it is excreting out along with the fecal matter and the balance amount balance amount of the body is coming back to the liver through the portal vein so, uh, for another cycle uh, that uh, usage for especially for uh, digest, helping the digestion and absorption of lipid. So, that circulation is called endorohepatic circulation. Okay. So, this endorohepatic circulation, it has a role in regulating or maintaining a cholesterol level in our body. Okay. How it is possible? There is a substance named cholestyramine. What is cholestyramine? Cholestyramine is an bile acid binding resin. What it is doing when it is administrated to that person, it blocks the back, uh, coming back of that uh, balanced bile to the liver. It blocks that uh, circulation. And then the liver sense that there is a shortage of bile. And we have learned that the bile is synthesizing from cholesterol. So, as the liver attempt to synthesize um, more amount of bile, 
from cholesterol the cholesterol level in our body will lowered by that way we can maintain the cholesterol level so in that way this enterohepatic circulation is important uh, is helping uh, to regulate the cholesterol level so in that way we can tell that bile itself uh, helping uh, uh, to uh, regulate the cholesterol level uh, indirectly so that is another function next uh, so uh, then more cholesterol gets converted to bile acids and by that way cholesterol level is decrease okay okay then we are going to see some more additional i think uh, most of you know uh, the points that i am going to tell you anyway i'm just mentioning about because it is important uh, you can add these points along with uh, any of the answers that uh, you are about to um, answer in your uh, university exam so what about the daily uh, volume of bile that is secreting secreting from the liver it is around 500 ml daily volume and the secreted bile is storing in the gall bladder and then it is released upon the demand what about the ph ah uh, ph uh, vary depends upon where it is stored uh, currently if it is present in the hepatic duct then the ph is 7.1 when it comes to gall bladder its ph, its ph will become 7.4 okay and there is one enzyme also present in the bile its name is alkaline phosphatase phosphatase okay uh, enzyme capable to remove phosphate group from some substrate so there are some other po um, miscellaneous points okay then regarding with the secretion of bile we need to familiarize with um, two other terms first one is uh, cholerytics cholerytics means what they are certain substances cholerytics this cholerytics are certain substances that stimulate stimulates what stimulates liver uh, to secrete bile so cholerytics cholerytics are certain substances that is stimulating liver to secrete bile uh, uh, some examples for uh, such type of cholerytics are the bile salt itself and the uh, secreting hormone and the vagal stimulation what do you mean by vagal stimulation vagal means is a nerve that is present it is a nerve that is running each side of our body it runs from the lower part of the brain through the neck uh, to the chest uh, and till the uh, stomach so that is why it, uh, it is present on either side so its stimulation mm. stimulation also um as um, um prompt the liver to secrete bile so cholerytics not that type the next term is uh, cholagogus cholagogus uh, means these are certain substances that stimulates gall bladder to release bile to the intestine so cholagogus which is an important powerful cholagogus it is cholecystokinin we know that it is secreted by duodenum okay and when this uh, cholecystokinin is secreted uh, when duodenum um, uh, have some fatty acid and amino acids in it so then that time uh, the duodenum is stimulated to secrete this cholecystokinin and this cholecystokinin is a cholagogus that stimulates the gall bladder to secrete release the bile from it so okay and then that's about the secretion of the bile next we are going to see some key function uh, important functions of the bile in addition to all other functions we have just uh, seen uh, the, the, that bile has a alkaline ph i already told you that alkaline ph help to neutralize the acidity of the gastric juice so that is another importance and uh, they acts as efficient surfactants we know that what is surfactants means any substance that is added to some other substance it uh, reduces its surface tension and helps its uh, spreading and this property uh, aids in the better absorption of lipid so that is a surfactant property bile has surfactant property that property helps in the easy absorption of lipid by the body and that is another important then uh, the bile acts as the 
only root of excretion of bilirubin from where bilirubin is forming because of the catabolism of hay. Hay is present where inside hemoglobin. So um, the from the worn out RBC that heme heme is catabolized and uh, one of the product of the catabolism is bilirubin and that bilirubin need to excrete and it is excreting mainly means that's the only root uh, with the help of bile. Bile is uh, helping its excretion. So that is another function. And also it uh, helps to excrete cholesterol in the beginning of the section of this video itself. I told you that the bile helps to keep the cholesterol in a solution form. And uh, that property, that ability uh, certainly helping, helping to regulate the body cholesterol pool um, by eliminating or excreting whatever excess amount present in the body. And um, uh, we are uh, taking so many drugs, uh, drugs, uh, so many uh, day, uh, day, uh, daily, uh, day by day, and uh, from the those all those drugs, so many toxic products are forming in our body, and all those uh, whatever metabolic catabolic products are forming out of that drugs that need to be excreted, and there also the bile. So, so say medium, medium to excrete though uh, that uh, um, additional amount what, uh, what remains left after uh, the uh, means usage of that drug. It is excreting out and by that way it helps in the detoxification of the liver. And the bile uh, itself is uh, preventing the formation of stones in the gallbladder. We know that whenever such stones are forming inside the gallbladder, that uh, patient is always most commonly advised to surgically remove the gallbladder. So, uh, it is very urgent to prevent such situation. When that uh, gallstones are forming in our body, when the cholesterol concentration exceeds a limit, then that may lead to the formation of gallstones. So, what is helping to prevent prevent um, prevent that uh, stone formation in the gallbladder? It is the bile salt. Bile salts along with bile salts along with the phospholipids. Phospholipids that present in the bile. Uh, it helps, it prevents the stone formation. How it prevents? By keeping cholesterol in solution form. I already told, I think, so many times I told you about uh, uh, these points in this section itself. Bile salts and the phospholipids helps to keep the cholesterol in solution form. Uh, by that way, whatever excess amount present, it can be easily eliminated from the body. And by that way, it can help the body to, uh, to prevent the formation of gallstones. So, that is, a, uh, that is another function of bile. Um, um, then, uh, yes, in, which are the situation um, by which these gallstones are forming? Uh, um, situations uh, emerge uh, whenever this gallbladder gets some infection then that time gallstones may form and also whenever body suffers too much dehydration that time also uh, the gall um, gallstones may develop in our body because uh, dehydration um, sometimes can in a one way or another way can escalate the cholesterol level um, it may uh, uh, then lead to uh, the formation of gallstones so, whatever be the situation, the bile salts and phospholipids, they are playing a major role, a leading role uh, to maintain the uh, normal cholesterol level by keeping cholesterol in a solution form. So, these are all the functions. So, we have seen so many functions of the bile in the, this section from the beginning onwards, especially the main, main function is it, help, it is helping in the digestion and absorption of lipids. Then we have seen so many um, pathways, regulatory pathway, uh, role of bile as regulatory pathway, bile as the nutrient signaling molecule, then uh, by uh, it helps in maintaining the cholesterol level by by alternately, by means uh, indirectly, indirectly um, to the endohepatic circulation. And uh, these functions. Anyhow, uh, um, we could understand from the section that bile salt is very important. It is performing so many functions that is physiologically important to body. So, with this, I am going to finish today's section. Thank you.
body, I'm an icon, man. And my girl about a 10. I should fuck her in the best.